Hello, my name is Joe Phillips. I'm the Vice President of Engineering here at Desktop Metal. I'm here to introduce the S-Max Flex, our newest additive robotic manufacturing 3D printer. The top three things about this machine that you need to know, it's affordable, it's easy to use, and it delivers quality parts. I wanna go through the, the printer in detail now. What we've started with is really a titanium bar. We chose titanium because it has a low coefficient of thermal expansion, so it doesn't change size and shape as the temperature changes in your foundry. Now you get a nice flat continuous plane with a very well controlled offset between the print head and the bed. That gives you that dimensional accuracy that you're looking for. Right now what you see is the printer's going over to fetch sand. And what you can see underneath the metering hopper is a gated sand depositor. That gated sand depositor very quickly lifts that gate up, deposits sand into the metering hopper and fills it. You can see it only took a couple of seconds to do. That's really to make sure that the speed of the system is optimized. So right now we print at 115 liters per hour and it's going back to the other side. It's gonna lower into its print position and it's gonna start printing again. To my left, you can see our telescoping build box. It's one meter wide, one meter tall, and 1.9 meters long. That telescoping build box is responsible for containing the sand as you print each layer. It basically indexes as you start printing your parts and you add to, you, to your parts. At the top of that, once you get to that one meter and you've completed your build, you can then pull the gate valve. The gate valve opens up, all the unbound sand falls out of the bottom, exposing your printed part, and then you remove the, the printed parts and start your depowdering process. After you print all the unbound powder is 100% recyclable, it keeps your cost down. So once you extract your printed part, you recycle that sand, sift it, put it back into the system and you're ready to print. That keeps your part cost down and your price per cubic inch is very competitive with traditional core shooting. The high level, what you need to remember is this is affordable, easy to use and produces high quality parts. Having this machine has showed us a different future in our business. We're able to um, produce uh, higher quality parts, parts that have more value added to them, more complex castings for advanced applications. And bringing in a technology like 3D printing really augments what uh, our team members can do. There is a distinct cost advantage to producing the core this way over traditional methods. It cuts a tremendous amount out of the lead time, but, but there's also the cost of that tooling that is, is simply eliminated. It's pretty amazing seeing how far the technology has come in such a short period of time. As the costs of the 3D printing equipment and as the cost of the consumables come down, you are increasingly gonna see 3D printing take over a larger percentage of how uh, metal casting companies like us are, are making molds. The advantages that it's provided for us and for our customers has been enormous. And it's allowed us to move into all new markets that we hadn't been in. It's fun to come to work every day and to know that we can make nearly anything that we can imagine out of a casting.